What's going on Show Nation, it's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video I want to talk about how to make stubs in MLB The Show 19. We are quite a bit through the season now, but I would like to talk to you guys about how to make stubs to get a beast team. Now there are a couple ways that you can do it. Uh, one of the best ways is just playing through ranked seasons. You're going to get a lot of stubs as you guys can see by playing through ranked seasons. The best way that I get stubs is honestly just busting my tail day one of a new season to getting to World Series because once you get to World Series and open up this pack, there's always high level rewards that you can sell. For example, uh, the last couple seasons I've gotten to this pack really, really fast and when I opened that pack, I was able to go into the community market and sell my Matt Williams for 222 thousand stubs you can see he's going down in price as more people make the world series throughout the season these seasons last a month and i try to get to the world series in about two or three days i try to get there as quickly as i can and that's one of the main ways that you can make stubs in mlb the show is just getting to the world series and getting there as quickly as possible to sell these reward cards now the second thing that you can do is every couple weeks we get a new program uh, this one was the third inning program now there will be missions that you can do in here and once you get to the end of normally it's about 300 stars you know you want to do all the program missions uh, you don't necessarily need to do the voucher but you could uh, do the voucher but what you want to do is you want to grind out these program stars as quickly as you possibly can Day one or day two of the third inning program. This is a good way that anybody can do this. It just takes a lot of time. But if you really, really want the subs, you got to do it fast. And uh, you can see in the third inning program, once you get to this pack right here, 300 program stars, you're able to get one of these cards. And there will be a fourth inning program coming up in about a week that you're going to be able to do this with. And you can see these are major major rewards you know uh the best way to do this is obviously to do all these missions if you can do the voucher uh you should probably do it but you don't necessarily need to do it so you play through all these missions and then what you do is you play versus the computer all right you go over here and you play versus the cpu the extended play you go play versus the cpu Play against the Orioles, and honestly, this is the fastest way to do it to get those program stars. Just bunt over and over until you get through nine innings. Once you've gotten through nine innings, you know, finish up the game or whatever, and you're going to get the two program stars doing that. Then there's also these missions, you know, exchange the stuff for the missions to get the program stars. I've obviously already gotten all of them this time around. But you want to do that to get these, and obviously you could try to do these as well while you're going through those CPU games. If you can get this done in the first couple days, as you can, you guys can see here in the community market, these cards are going for around 8,000, 9,000 stubs. But on day one or day two, if you can just grind this out, it's going to be a super long grind session to get there. But anybody can do it if they just put their mind to it and, you know, you know they put out a couple hours of getting there they can get here and once you get here you can usually sell these cards for like 300,000 stubs 400,000 stubs even possibly depending on how nice of the rewards they are and they will be nice rewards on the fourth inning program so you can grind those out you can sell those cards and they'll go down in value if you want to rebuy it just like this Matt Williams I could go back now and rebuy it and still get a lot of stubs the next best way to get subs is playing battle royale you draft a team i recommend that you draft two diamond relief pitchers and two silverish uh relief pitchers so you have four solid relief pitchers i also recommend that you guys draft a bunch of power hitters and power swings if you do that you can go and get the 12 and 0 flawless reward you guys see in the top right hand corner and you'll pick up a Willie McCovey at 99, a Felix Hernandez at 96 that you will be able to choose from and sell for a lot of subs. Now, this is very difficult to do. It's not easy to do. 
Um, I was able to do it, but it's not easy to do. You have to be a pretty good player to do it. But if you can get it done, you are going to profit immensely. You are going to, again, these cards have been holding up their value for quite a bit. Look at McCovey. He goes for 298,000 stubs. And Felix Hernandez, 379,000 subs. So these are absolutely no joke if you can get that 12 and 0. Now the next thing I recommend that you guys do, you can enter this for free. These these are events. Um, there'll be a new one coming soon. It's a 25 and under event. There's usually a reward for just getting wins. You have to get maybe five to 20 wins in events. And you can get a nice card that usually goes up in value that you can sell. Um, so if you can get that, just by getting the wins, you can sell that. And you also have the chance at going at 12-0 and 0 and picking up a diamond card for going 12-0. and 0. So these modes are a little bit tougher uh, to get there. But if you can get them done, you will profit immensely from doing those. Now, moments, uh, these can be a little bit tricky, but some of them are pretty easy. You guys can see, you guys can pick up 500 stubs and XP along the way by doing these moments. You're going to do some of them if you do the third inning program. You can pick up a little bit here and there of stubs. Now, the other thing that you guys can do is conquest. I recommend you guys do all of the conquests when you have free time. You're going to get, you know, there's little goals that you can complete. You're going to get XP. You're going to get stubs. You guys can see there, you know, just stealing 5 million fans. You will get a lot of free packs along the way, which you can, they're just profit. So any card that you pick up is going to be profit. Um, another way that you guys can get stubs is through investments. Um, every two weeks, the rosters update. So, for instance, I bought Cody Bellinger a couple weeks ago um, when he was at about 10,000. He's gotten a lot of upgrades since because in Iron Rail Baseball, he's been beasting, man. He's been absolutely beasting this season. So he's gone up from like an 85. He started at a gold. He went up to an 85 diamond. Now he's at an 87 diamond. Now his price is up. So you can make investments. Um, you guys can see I have some other investments <clears throat> that I made. This is one of the most fun parts of Diamond Dynasty, uh, you know, I've got some Vlad Guerrero's that I'm sitting on, hoping, waiting for him to go Diamond. Um, I've got some Royals as well. I've got 30 Alberto Alberto Mondesi's waiting for him to get up to the gold level. I've got Hunter Dozier, 130 of them waiting for him to get to the silver or the gold level later this year. So you can make investments. Um, I'll show you guys one more that I have as well. I have 20. Uh, Acuna's I really think he will go diamond by the end of the year and once he goes diamond I will be able to sell him for a lot more than I bought him for so you can also make investments the final thing that you can do is you can go in the community market and flip and buy cards so for instance if you had a bunch of stubs um, you could go and I'm trying to look for a good price difference here if you had a lot of stubs, you could buy this Eric Davis for, you know, I could buy him for 139 and then I could put him back up and resell him for more sub stubs, 159 let's say, to get under that 160 That's what's known as flipping cards. A super good way to make stubs. It just takes a little bit more time to do so, but with the big price gaps, you can flip cards. Um, other cards that are really good if I can find these sets um, let's see if they have player of the month monthly awards all these monthly rewards cards go up drastically in price because they are gatekeepers to major cards and there will be some more of these dropping tomorrow for the Josh Bell as you can see this Tyler Glass now is extremely extremely uh, hard to get now and uh, people need to get him. This is a good one to flip. People want to buy him so they can get the Cody Bellinger that unlocks. There's going to be some more of these in the game tomorrow. And you might they, he might already be in the game. Or they might already be in the game by the time you guys watch this. I think that pretty much covers the best ways to get stubs in MLB The Show 19. And also when you guys buy stuff in the market... Make sure that you guys don't ever just buy now. Make sure that you guys put in orders, these sell requests, so that you don't have to pay top dollar. 
Let's see. The, the thing is, too, is like, let's say you want to try out a card. Let's say you want to try out Justin Verlander. Now you're going to buy him at 84 zero zero one and if you don't like them you can always resell them and then you'll make a little bit of profit back or at least make your money back so that is how to make stubs in mlb the show 19 if you guys liked this video be sure to like the video be sure to subscribe if you guys are new check out my video on how to level up to get a massive amount of XP, you guys see I am already at level 100 this year. I got, I got some tips on about how to level up the best uh, through the game. And also on this XP reward path, I have every card you should take along the way. A guide in there. I also have hitting tips on the channel. I have pitching tips on the channel. Um, just got a ton of MLB The Show tips on there. But I wanted to update my how to get subs video because it had been a while. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Um, you guys can always watch me play. I, I stream on Twitch about five days, six days a week for multiple hours of just ranked season. So if you want to check me out on that, just movie gaming TV on that. And also on Twitter, if you want to hit me up, hit me up at movie gaming TV. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.